Your girl don't sound so low curve. Already is giving uncle. <laughs> Obsessed. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl, Sierra. <laughs> and today I'm coming at you guys with a haul video. So I'm gonna be showing you guys all in total three items. Two items I took with me on my past trip, my trip to Tampa, Florida. I just came back yesterday. These two shirts that I'm about to show y'all, when I say these are the only two shirts that I should have brought for the whole dang on trip, like I literally brought so many clothes on that trip. But anyway, I didn't go into much depth about the shirts that I was wearing in that vlog. So figured I would go ahead and show you guys these shirts. And as well is a little pickup from Essence, okay y'all? So we are gonna be getting into a classic little pair of shoes that I actually haven't even seen yet. But let me take these AirPods out first off the remote. Now, your girl's on Essence. And I don't know if y'all follow me on Instagram. Please follow me on Instagram if you are not already because on there I post a lot more content because Instagram is just easier to, you know, document your day-to-day fashion content or whatever type of content you're doing it's just easier because it's just straight quick but I had went live I think like last week and I was saying how I wanted a freaking loafer I feel like a loafer was what I was missing in my wardrobe because I do feel like if you think of like five good shoes that you need for you know all year long it would be like a boot obviously for the fall winter a loafer for the fall or you just when you want to be a little bit more dressy a nice classic leather sneaker um sandal maybe a good sandal that you can bring out every spring summer and maybe like a good comfortable little heel now i have all of those except for a loafer so that's why your girl was on the hunt for a classic little loafer i wanted something with a little edge but also something that would last in my wardrobe forever and ever and ever i was on ancient and ended up seeing these little jill saunders now Y'all know I don't really talk about Jill Sandra here on my channel. Although I'm gonna link up in the cards because I have been sent a piece from Jill Sandra before, this very beautiful long coat. Let's get into the little unboxing, y'all. As y'all can see, I have not opened it at all. I'm so excited, y'all. I'm gonna get into sizing and all of that once I actually see the freaking shoe. As I told y'all, I never bought anything from Jill Sandra, so I ended up calling their store that they have here in New York and I asked them if they had the, the, the shoes that I was getting, but they said they didn't have them. And then I asked them, how did Jill Saunders shoes run typically? Um, and the sales associate there, she told me that typically their shoes run bigger and to maybe go a whole size down. So I took that girl advice. I hope you was right, girl, because I went a whole size down. As this little packaging is always straight to the point, which I love. Already is looking long. Look, already is giving uncle. <laughs> so these are my new little babies, you guys. Well, I don't know if they my new little babies because I have to try them on, but oh my god, already they are freaking giving. I love the leather. Get into this texture. Oh my god. And what really attracted me to them is this roping or this like uh, what do you call it? Not roping, but uh, they is stenched like this stenched leather detail that you have at the front obsessed and also the square top. Oh my gosh, y'all. Like I freaking love these even more in person. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's get the other one out. So this is what they are looking like y'all so far. So freaking good. And the sole looks like it's going to be so freaking sturdy through my hard lifestyle. Oh my God. Let me just, let me try these on because I'm like so freaking hyped right now. I don't know if like any other little details. Oh yeah, you have this little steep three stitch detail here on the side. And yeah, this is just, you know, what it's giving. <laughs> you guys can see it just like how I can see it. Your girl don't found her low curve. I just wanted something just really, really simple. I didn't want any chains, no bells, no whistles. I just wanted sleek and chic. And to me, that is what this one is giving so freaking far. Oh my God, look at it on my picture. Hold on. Oh, this is what she is looking like. So, hold on. So this is what it's looking like so far on my foot, y'all. And that lady was definitely right. A whole size down is freaking perfect. Because if I would have got these in a 39 or even a 38.5, I feel like it would have just been kind of falling off my foot because as y'all can see like I can slip my foot out of this one pretty you know pretty swiftly so yeah I'm so happy I got this size 38 
and let me try the other one on and let's see what it's looking like. I'm gonna put y'all down here on the floor so y'all can see. I, huh? No, I like this I feel like Michael Jackson, hold on. <laughs> Honestly, the toe box is kind of bigger than I expected it to be. It is pretty big. And then I'm walking y'all and I kind of feel like they kind of slipping up in the back. And this is actually a thick freaking sock. Let me see how it feels with a thinner sock actually. Definitely my foot is coming up when I walk, which is unfortunate. As I told y'all, I went a whole size down from my actual size and I don't like that. I mean, I could put something in the front, but, and also how often do I wear thin socks? I don't know, shit. I'm disappointed, I'm not gonna lie, because I really do love these, but they too damn big. <laughs> they too big, and I keep trying to be like, wait, but if I wear it this way, that up. No, they too big. Even with my thick sock on, y'all, which this is the thickest sock that I'll probably wear with them, I wouldn't want to wear anything thicker with them, because then that would stretch the, the leather out more than I would want, because I've had that problem in the past. But, damn. The silhouette is every freaking thing. Like I, I do really like the silhouette of this shoe. I think that the leather is beautiful. I think that the way it is made is beautiful. I feel like you can definitely tell that it is a well-made shoe, quality shoe, quality leather. And I ain't mad at it, Jill. I ain't mad at it, Jill. But I do feel like I just wish they would be a little bit more descriptive when it comes to the size and when it comes to these pieces because I feel like without people reviewing it, you really don't know. So I hope that this is helpful for you guys and it's too expensive for me to even, you know, hold on to them and they don't fit properly. So I'm gonna, like I said, get my clothes up. So keep you guys posted as to what comes of this. And then I did want to mention something about these loafers that I actually didn't see before purchasing them because I don't think that it was like even in the details. But something very important to note about these loafers, these particular loafers, is the um, they have a coating over them to make them so shiny. Um, and the coating that they use, the particular technique that they use to give these shoes this finish requires a lot of upkeep, I want to say. Um, for instance, it reads that it's important to keep the shoes away from any alcoholic, oily, or abrasive substances, as well as any humid sources. So, depending on where you live, you know, probably Texas, you probably can't even do, you, can't, you probably can't even buy the loafer with your, your weather situation. But, and it also says we suggest you keep your shoes in their dust bag after use. And I'm just so happy that I read this. I'm so happy that they included this. All right, so I'm getting into these t-shirts that I'm about to try on for y'all. But before I try them on, I just want to say that both of these shirts are from the brand Bo McCall. Uh, it's a funny story. I was grocery shopping and I seen this very cool looking dude. And I was like, oh my God, his outfit is sick. Again, if you follow me on Instagram, y'all know I'd be kind of a creep. Some looks just be so damn good and I got to get a picture and I got to post it for inspiration. Not only for myself, but for others out there. So follow me on Instagram if you like that type of content. But anyways, I seen him, I got a little picture. Couldn't get a, a real good picture cause I was in a, other people's in a way. Ran into him and I had to tell him like, yo, your style is amazing. And then he ended up hitting me on Instagram. Like, I think I watch our YouTube, but I'm like, oh my God, like you are so freaking cool. And I love these t-shirts. And he was kind enough to give me not one, but two of the triple t-shirts that he creates. And I, I'm just blown away at how he could really make a freaking t-shirt this first so i mean it's really three t-shirts let me just try it on so y'all can see what i'm talking about now <clears throat> he sent me two of them so i have this brown colorway and i also have like this jordan one here which i freaking love especially since i'm from chicago representing you know the bulls and mj so i have like the mj version and also this little virgin says got chocolate and i really love the color combos of both of them but i'm only going to try on well i'll try on them both but i'm going to show you guys the seven ways that you can try that that you can wear them with only one of them so let me try this one on first so y'all can see it's just so cool like putting it on like i just love the fact that you can just be like hold on not this hole this hole not that hole this hole so this is the one way that i was wearing it in Tampa I was just wearing it like this and this is one way that you can wear it you guys as you can see it's literally three freaking t-shirts sewn into one 
uh, which is why I thought the triple T because it's three. I just think that it's a sick freaking t-shirt. I love the silhouette of it. I love the fact that you can just really play with it in your wardrobe. And this is actually how he was wearing it when I seen him and I was just like, damn, what is this shirt? Yeah, this is the one way that you can wear it, y'all. What I love is he includes this little guide here which shows you and as well as explain to you how you can wear the shirt in the seven different ways. So, oh wait. Oh, is it six? I've been saying seven. I think it's six, y'all. This is the way that I just tried it. Now I'm gonna try it in the poncho style, which again, you will have both of the heads, you know, open. So let's try it that way. So this is the poncho way that you can wear it, which is so freaking sick. Can you just imagine like grocery shopping like, oh, the, oh sir, I need help, can you please? And this way, the left drape way, this is my favorite way to wear it actually, because I think it's just so freaking cool. So you can put your head through like the last head hole. You can put it through there, and this is a shirt too that I feel like you really can just play with. You probably can pull out like 10 different ways to wear it. So yeah, you can do it on this side and have drape on this side. That's another freaking way. And then, this is another little way you can wear it as like a little, um, what do you call it? As a shawl. So this is like the way that you can wear it if you wanted to wear it as a little shawl. I don't feel like putting a shirt on underneath, but y'all get the division. And this is another way that you can wear it as like a little hoodie situation. And I'm telling you, if I if I could think of a t-shirt that was made for me, it would be this t-shirt, probably. I would say if you guys are into a versatile piece, definitely give this a go. And yeah, y'all, I, I freaking, I'm obsessed with it. What's up, y'all? So. Thank you so much if you have made it to the end of this video. Love you so much. And be sure to give this video a like if you like this video. I know y'all like, what the hell, Sierra? You look totally different. Yes, this is a couple of days later, but I didn't have a proper in, in outro. So here I am saying goodbye, saying thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next one. Peace.